it's not the start for many of our days in America. But here in Tegucigalpa, Honduras, it's a daily effort, thanks to a few seeing the way. Starting with this kind human being right here, Pastor Mario, the hardest working widowed father I know. Once climbing telephone towers, he's now Mr. Mom after his wife's recent sudden passing due to COVID. My life, my wife, my, my, my life changed. Not only a wife to him, but a mom to three other daughters. And now I, I move to, uh, to cook. Some of the strongest ones I've ever met too. Because it's a battle, a battle to not only take over the activities, but to continue on his full devotee career as a missionary and pastor too. No longer making the sustainable dollars his longtime telecommunication work provided, he instead volunteers at the city's missionary radio station, helping others speak and live their purpose path too. With only needs of helping others. Like the second floor of this church. so the children can have a place to develop their own path. And when the shadows get longer, his work each day continues, like the music his daughters have devoted to as well. Implementing the B curriculum with his extended family and community, It's an effort to keep learning. Just like his cooking. A belief. People blame God because of what is happening to the world, but we are like, you know, people make mistakes and, and do things that does not obey what God is doing. So when my, what happened to my mom, actually um, left us with like uh, we realize how life is short and how we don't want to waste our time you know crying over something that she, we know that she's good she's in, she's in heaven so we're we're like we don't have anything to left we don't have anything to lose than to serve god with all our passion with all our time mm -hmm. but i know that yo tenía que seguir my wife always say me, my wife always say me, Mario, dumb, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Uh, always, always uh, work for the Lord, always. When you are like helpless, when you're hopeless because of what happened, uh, you don't have voices that enter to your mind, but um, there was one voice that actually gets me that he says to me i know what is happening to you but what i'm gonna tell you is just worship out of, out of that pain just worship god just worship and in that moment i started to worship and to seek god in, in in his presence and in that deep presence i realized i have nothing to do but his life is about to do the will of god and to go in heaven and to meet our our, our relatives a belief for some and a sight for the believers. Perhaps the only door one needs to see. <laughs>